Well, I'm back for another commentary after a long time. If you guys are wondering why I haven't done my commentary series in a while, well, let me explain, first off, my Discord friends like LucasYTP2024 and that other person whatever he is don't like me making this kind of series because of the stuff I do on this series. Second off, I wanted to refrain myself from making commentaries a lot of times, which is being a content farmer, so, for those who don't like my commentary series, then don't watch them instead of complaining about them like little children. Anyways, I will not be featuring anyone all the time except for the big ones, and no intro today. In times go, what, no, more like no! it. Oh my god, this show sucks. This show ruined the original Teen Titans, which is way better than this. Well, I can agree that the original Teen Titans is better than the reboot, but you still suck nowadays. This show is about these five weird looking superheroes and they like to go on awful missions. Better than the failure adventures slash missions term, I don't mind that. But wait a minute, are they superheroes or not? They don't seem to be superheroes seriously. Anyways, to the characters, Robin likes to teach kids bad and dumb lessons. And also, do you want to see a picture of him crying? No! Beast Boy likes to act like Spongebob. Want to see the next picture? I don't care! Oh, and Beast Boy also sucks at counting. Because in one episode, when he tries to count, he starts at zero. Oh really? You have got to be kidding me. You don't start at zero when you count. You start at one. Cyborg is too loud. He can't get anything done when the song The Night Begins to Shine starts. To be honest, The Night to Begins to Shine song is really cool, and I first heard in the episode called Slumber Party. There's now even one episode where the Titans change to a rad style, which I found very interesting and very cool. Starfire is a huge scaredy cat. Do you want to see the next picture? No! She is also a drama queen. Like in this picture, Starfire is crying just because her pet fish died. But Beast Boy said that her fish is alive. But she tricked her with that annoying toast. And she drank all the water in the fish ball and burped without saying excuse me. And it all caused Robin to vomit. That proves up that this show has toilet humor. As you can see in this picture, Starfire is licking her pet Silky. Am I supposed to find this funny? No, it's disgusting. Oh, and Starfire also likes to say the word, the, too much. In one episode, she puts the word, the, in front of every word. That's very annoying, right? Right. I know she says it a lot despite her being a female alien superhero. Though in my opinion, I still find her very cute, adorable, and very cute. Let's just move on to the next part. Raven is dumbass. Robin tricked her by putting her yearbook by saying, as I wrote my dreams in thoughts, and she called herself dumb. And Silky, well, nobody gives a shit about him. You can tell that nobody gives a shit about Silky it's because he is not in this picture. My apologies have gone to the original voice cast of the original Teen Titans, such as Greg Sipes, Scott Menville, Carrie Payton, Tara Strong, and Hyndon Walsh who had to voice this abomination. There was an episode where Robin kissed Cyborg, which is just completely disgusting. Also when the daylight savings time started, there was an episode where they say that farmers invented daylight savings time. Are they dumbasses or something? Yes! Just kidding. Benjamin Franklin was the one who invented daylight savings time, not farmers. Oh, and did I forget to mention that the creators of this show can't handle any more criticism, along with the whole show teaching kids bad lessons. For example, they have the crossovers. The first crossover is with the Powerpuff Girls for 2016. Oh really? You have got to be kidding me. Why would they have to do this with a Craig McCracken show? But actually, Craig McCracken didn't create the Powerpuff Girls for 2016. Nick Jennings and Bob Boyle did. The second one is with Unikitty, a spin-off of the Lego movie. Even through I like Unikitty, but I hate this crossover. The third one is with Scooby-Doo. Even through I like Scooby-Doo. But I hate this crossover. And the fourth one is with DC Superhero Girls. Even though I like DC Superhero Girls, 
but I hate this crossover, damn it, did I forgot to mention that they also have another crossover with other Hanna-Barbera, Warner Brothers, Cartoon Network, and DC Comics characters on its special episode dedicated to the 100th anniversary of Warner Brothers, that crossover also sucks. I can handle your opinion on that special, I think it's very amazing that they got all the characters including the Cartoon Network characters like Craig of the Creek and Dexter's Laboratory. And also, Cartoon Network made a stupid promo, saying that Teen Titans Go is our new favorite show. Are they really that dumb? Teen Titans Go is not my favorite show. And as you can see on the Cartoon Network schedule, on the final week of 2017, Cartoon Network aired Teen Titans Go all week long until January 1st, 2018, but with only two episodes of Steven Universe aired on that week, but with 384 episodes of Teen Titans Go and two episodes of Steven Universe aired on that week, and other Cartoon Network shows didn't have to air on that week. This show also has some pretty pushed up movies. The first movie is called Teen Titans Go to the Movies. What? Teen Titans Go to the Movies? No, more like no! The second movie is called Teen Titans Go vs. Teen Titans, which I'm okay with that movie. The third movie is called Teen Titans Go Sea Space Jam. What? Teen Titans Go Sea Space Jam? No, more like no! This movie sucks. Honestly, that movie is basically the Teen Titans commentating the original Space Jam movie, but with their funny stuff, like how the guns are either replaced with bananas or chickens, and they would make changes to it too. The fourth movie is a crossover with DC Superhero Girls called Teen Titans Go DC Superhero Girls, Mayhem in the Multiverse. Like I said, even through I like DC Superhero Girls, but I hate this crossover. It even has a mobile game called Teeny Titans. Teen Titans Go. What? Teeny Titans. Teen Titans Go? No. More like... Shut the fuck up. This mobile game sucks. It even has another mobile game called Teen Titans Go Figure. Teen Titans Go Figure? No. More liked. No. This mobile game sucks. Do you know who likes this show? Oh my god, who the hell cares? So screw Teen Titans Go. Screw its films and screw its mobile games. The original Teen Titans is 63 times better than Teen Titans Go. End of rant. No outro. Don't ever ask me why I had a crush on Starfire. So go.